video. This video is about how I made my new drum set. This is a strategy for my new pad of uh, pipe insulation. And these are quarter 20 bolts, we'll keep it from rotating. Another pipe insulation. And manifold and squishy tubing. This of the manifold. Because it will have to print. Uh, <laughs> Here's my printer printing out one of the manifolds. And it's just doing the top barb now. So here's the part. I just rip off the uh, all the supports, and it turns out like that. The nice thing about TPU is it's rugged, flexible. Okay, so that's what I'll use. And I, this is from McMaster, uh, 1 8 inch barb to barb, and the Tigon tubing that I'll be using. So I just push on. Like that. So this, this makes the chamber here. So, so there will come in, and have the chamber, and then it will deform the piezo. And so one of the transducer modules will just be have a, a, a plug in it so that um, any, any tapping or, or uh, movement or something will come into this, the, this one and then I'll take the difference. Things sort of mostly fit. Getting there. A few more wires to go. This is the plan for the colors. And this configuration of the hardware inside of the Cypress chip. Maybe you are in uh, pins and this is the final configuration of the hardware and the pins decide where the pins will go and the software it's all C code and this is the final assembly putting the LED strips in and the box will close up with all the wires and pneumatic tubes. Thanks for listening.